If you were living in Prussia in the 19th century and you wanted to build a house, you had to get permission from the police. All that changed on the 14th of June 1882, when one man took his case to court and helped bring down the Prussian police state. OK, OK, that might be a slight exaggeration, but it was genuinely a milestone because what the court effectively ruled was that the police did not have the authority to just make up laws out of nothing. And the story begins with the Prussian National Monument for the Liberation Wars. This monument was built on what was at the time a hill just outside of Berlin, in memory of soldiers who had fallen during the Liberation Wars against France. Actually, the original plan was for a massive church next to the Potsdam Gate, but there wasn't enough money for that, and so they had to settle for a monument. At the time, the police were not the law enforcement agency that we know today. Rather, they were officials charged with public safety, public order, and the good of the community. Under a law passed in 1850, the police had the power to issue edicts, and this is one case where this happened. Berlin was expanding, and new developments were springing up outside of the city walls. In 1861, the area just south of the Halle Gate had become so urbanised that it was incorporated into the city of Berlin, the nucleus of what eventually became the borough of Kreuzberg. In 1879, the Berlin police issued an edict effectively banning the construction of any building in an area immediately surrounding the monument that was tall enough to block people's view of it, or to block the view from the monument over the city. The following year, a landowner asked for permission to build a four-storey apartment block, and if my research is accurate, it must have been where this house now stands. Permission was denied, and so the year after that, he applied for permission to build on the other side of the street, which must have been this house. Once again, permission was denied. And so he went to court, arguing that he was being robbed of his rights, and the buildings that he proposed didn't constitute a blemish on the area, and in any case, the whole edict was, in his opinion, invalid. It was not the job of the police to dictate what houses should look like. The police, naturally, had a different opinion on the matter, and some of their arguments were um, interesting, to say the least. Of course their mission was to protect, but it was to protect far more than merely people's lives and property. No, no, no! They were responsible for preserving other, less tangible things as well. Their job was to protect society from harm, and that had to include protecting society from the harm caused by ugly buildings. But more than that, what they were protecting here was a monument erected as a symbol of the heroic actions of the Prussian army, a monument that belonged to the state. And therefore, it represented that most precious thing that can ever belong to a state. Patriotism. Yes, that really was their argument. The court wasn't impressed. The way the edict was written, argued the court, gave the police the power to withhold permission for construction projects on almost any grounds. For example, and this is genuinely part of the court ruling, the police might say that in order to preserve the rural character of the area, they wouldn't allow anything larger than a summer house. And also, this had nothing to do with public safety, public order, or the good of the community. The police might legitimately forbid the construction of buildings next to, for example, city fortifications, because public security might be at risk. The view of a monument is nothing more than aesthetics. And that, ruled the court, is not the business of the police to regulate. They can't arbitrarily issue edicts that restrict people's rights and freedoms. They're supposed to enforce laws passed by Parliament, not invent laws of their own. This was a very important step in the dismantling of what was basically a police state. There was to be a clearer distinction between the lawmakers and the law enforcers. And in today's Germany, your dream house cannot be denied permission by the police. 
That's now the job of a bureaucrat. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see a video about how one man saved Germany with boxes of matches, check out the link below.